I'm walking alone, the streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to a, another edition of What I'm Liking and Not So Much. And also I have a special guest. So if you would like to see what I'm liking and maybe not so much, keep on watching. I have a special guest today that I'm super excited to have. I have Mary Ellen after 60. Oh my gosh, can I just say, I love that woman. I do feel like I have a special connection bond or just something, I just, I love her. She has a wonderful personality. Um, her and I do have some similarities, like she lives in a nice uh, older home, which is all done up kind of in, you know, like decorated and done up in the way that, um, the house would have been, I'm not sure what year the house is, but I know it's like an older home, which I love older homes, older Victorian homes, any of that kind of stuff. Um, she has furniture or items or things, all these little personal things from her mom to her great grandmother and her grandma and just so on. And I love that. I think that is the coolest thing I always have, but she's just such a wonderful person to watch. She's very good and informative with her skincare. And let me just say, for being after 60, I would never, if she would never tell me her age, I would never guess she was over 60. No, nope. nope. She has amazing, amazing skin. And yeah, <laughs> you'll just go and check her out. I'll put a link to her video down below. Please go check her out. You will not be so, disappointed. Let's go ahead and get started in this what I'm liking and not so much. So for hair care, I did, <clears throat> I did, cause you guys have to see me in a haul. I did get to try the Surf Paste from OGX. And it is a texturizing Surf Paste with Argan Oil, Morocco, and uh, sea kelp and sea salt. It gives you beach style vibe. I don't know if I'd say that to be honest. It's very thick. It's like a balm texture. It smells amazing. I love, I can't, I think it does smell a lot of their Moroccan kind of scents. If you've ever smelled their shampoos, <clears throat> conditioners, or hair them sprays and everything. I liked this. I really did like it. Um, you can put it in your hair when it's dry. I wouldn't put a lot. You don't want a lot because my goodness, you're going to look like a gr slick, greased up kind of crazy person. <laughs> so you don't want a lot, but you can add it to damp hair or dry hair. I believe I added mine to damp hair and just very little, let it melt in between my fingers and then glide it all through. And I really liked it. Skincare. I had mentioned this different times in videos, but you know, I'm going to mention it again because I do really like this for the price, like six bucks, I think almost $6 in Walmart for a 10 ounce tub. And it's the St. Ives. What is it called? The Timeless Skin Collagen Elastin moisturizer. You can use this on your face, on your body, anywhere like that. It visibly reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's formulated with collagen, elastin proteins. Uh, it has natural safe flower seed oil in it. To me, it looks so whipped, like a whippy, whippy cream, whippy cream. <laughs> There's some funny words, but it definitely really absorbs. I mean, it's Look at that. I mean, it really, your skin drinks it up pretty quickly. And I do use it a lot on my face. I use it a lot in the daytime, not so much as night, just for a little light extra moisturizer. I do feel like it does sometimes, it can make your skin or your, my, you know, like feel a little plump because with the collagen and everything. So for six bucks, I don't think this is a bad guy. The next item I got to thinking one of my subscribers was asking me about the acne scarring. I've had acne really bad when I was in my actual early 20s, mid 20s. Like my teen years, I didn't have it that bad. Like I'd get a breakout, but nothing as bad as in my early 20s to mid 20s. And I had like cystic acne. Oh God, did I hate it. It was, it was embarrassing and it was upsetting and it left me with scars and everything. Um, to fully get rid of your scars, you would have to get a procedure done in an office, definitely. 
I was telling her that one of the things that I noticed that helps my um, deep, like if I have deep um, scarring or anything like that, or just even the minimal scarring, I always found these kind of exfoliating pads, like any kind of, it doesn't have to be these ones in particular, but any kind of exfoliating pads I felt helped that. And I, I still do. I really think it does help diminish them very much. Um, so if you do have any scarring or whatever, I would recommend getting, you know, any kind, like I said, it doesn't have to be this one, any kind, because I've tried Dr. Dennis Gross and those are good. D um, Dr. Dennis, hers are great, firming pads, the firming pads, um, these, and I was trying to think if there was another one. I know L'Oreal has some and I wouldn't mind trying L'Oreal's, um, pads. This is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Cleansing Pads. It gently exfoliates to reveal skin's natural radiance with moisture-rich soy extract. I have shown these many times before and this is always a repurchase and it probably always will be. It smells great. I love the smell. I don't know what they put in their products but it smells really good. And then their pads are pretty big. Here is one here. I'm going to hold it pretty saturated. On one side you'll see you have um, those little bumps on there which really exfoliates. So you use that side first and then this side's more smooth. You use that after you do the one with the bumps on it that exfoliates. And that, that's pretty much it. And it cleanses and it exfoliates. It's great. I love these. And you get, how many do you get? 28 cell foaming dual textured pads so yeah and i think these are like around six something on the seven dollars all right this i was super excited to get i haven't tried them all yet but i figured i'd just show you just real quick in the mail i knew they told me they were going to send me because they it, it's from the body shop the body shop was telling me that they have new face masks i thought they were only going to send me one that's what i thought they were going to do but nope they sent me this big tube with like so i have like all five yeah all five of them and on this side it tells you what each one is now, i've only used one and i i just used it yesterday and i know it's probably sudden for me to say but i liked it and i'm going to show you which one i used this one here it's the himalayan charcoal purifying glow mask this one here here's what it looks like okay seriously now you smell tea tree. There is tea tree in it. Okay, it has the powerful bamboo charcoal from the Himalayan uh, foothills. Okay, and exfoli it has active exfoliating green tea leaves from Japan and potent community trade organic tea tree oil from Kenya is what it has. So it's an invigorating mud mask that gives your skin an exhilarating um, new le uh, lease of life. Like I said, you can smell the tea tree. You can feel the leaves, um, the tea leaves in there. Like I said, see, there it is right there. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys because I have used, and I know like different people will compare something to another. Is this a dupe? I'm not going to say it's a dupe because it's, um, you know, obviously the scent for one, and I'm not sure if I can quite say it's a full on dupe, but I have used Glam Glow and I use the Glam Glow that's like this mud kind of mask thing. And I have to say, this gave me the satisfaction as that one did. Like I feel, um, I felt more of a cooling sensation from this a little bit, maybe it's because of the tea tree. Um, but oh my gosh, I felt, it felt amazing. I put it on last night and it felt amazing. I will be doing a video because I thought maybe what I'll do is I'll film with me with each one of these masks on, like throughout the video, like discuss on each of these masks and what it did for me. Did I like it? Did I not like it? Did it work? Did it break me out? Whatever. This, oh my gosh, no. I mean, it's $28 for these, which is a little, little whatever for, I think these are three ounce jars, but compared to 60 some dollars, I'm going to go the $28 out. That would just be me. So it does almost the same thing for myself. I mean, that's my opinion. Other people might not feel that way. This is, this is good. I cannot wait to try some of the other ones. So since I've been on a perfume kick and then I thought, oh my God, because I have philosophy perfumes here and there, left and right. And so I pulled out Baby Grace. So I've been using my Baby Grace a good bit. 
in baby grace it doesn't smell like like baby powder to some people might think that mm. I mean all I could say is you know yeah like just that nice very soft not feminine I mean you would kind of I, I don't know just very soft relaxing beautiful scent I, I don't know how else to explain it okay let's go ahead and get into makeup okay so let's start with uh, a not so much this is the only not so much and I thought what was I thinking I bought this a good while back ago and I showed it in a haul a good while back ago and I forgot about it like one of them things were oh yeah you know like I haven't tried it yet what was I even thinking when I got this I got it in Sally's Beauty Supplies where I got this at it's called Real Colors Blush You and um, this one is in rose gold I think that's what caught me was like rose gold like I don't know if you guys are gonna see the glitter see the glitter look at all that glitter sparks like I thought well, first of all which I have had blushes that do have that and then you put it on it's like not there nope this one this one is there it's like there you'll you'll see like here it is here it looks real pretty there not sure if the lighting will show that's why I like that ring light a little bit because it might show a little better uh, the glitters I'm not sure if you're seeing them or if it's going to show right there you go the glitter stays it stays so I was like what was I even thinking but I have bought some like that because I thought of that afterwards so yeah totally not like it's a pretty color very pretty color what but what was I thinking the next palette I'm going to talk about I used in a video I think it was the three eyeshadow video and it was the Kat Von D palette I think what is this one called I always forget spell spell binding eyeshadow book this was oh god three four years now ago around the holidays and this is the only one I really got from the holidays so far but um, this one I'm always glad I did because I do love the colorings in here and everything um, today I used this purple shade up in here this more cream colored shade right there which yes that cranberry shade oh yes that is gorgeous um, was there oh no and then I used what no yes and I did use this purple just a little bit in the outer part and that is what I put on my eyes today so I did a little purpley plummy smoky look I guess you want to say look the colors in here and just oh just I love it um I'm not sure what hers will be like this year so we'll see so, and then, then speaking of Kat Von D these are her blushes that she used to have they used to come in these black compacts with like a rose design there and these were called her everlasting face shaper blush this is in truth I used this a couple different times in some of my videos and it is so pretty but there's truth it is such a pretty neutrally shade right there it is oh just love right there can kind of see that I really like I wish she would have these blushes again she did come out with other blushes that are at Marshall's and places like that or whatever I do remember seeing Tara babies talking about those blushes because she bought a whole bunch of them and she wasn't super happy with them and I forget there was something about them and it seemed funny that after she did the video and then sometime later not saying that they did it because she said but I'm wondering if there was a problem I don't know but some people I'm seeing their videos and they really like them but I'm not sure what happened it was like they were barely even on Sephora and then they were gone so I'm not sure if they weren't happy with them or what these have been awesome blushes though I have this one in love song I wouldn't mind trying to get a couple other ones here and there if I can and another blush that I'm really liking came in my TSV the Mally rose petal pink blush it's the bouncy kind of spongy kind of blushes that you see um, pretty cool you can use your fingers if you want to right there look at that isn't that pretty here it is right there gives you a nice natural look to your cheeks really like that this is a really nice blush I can't wait to see what other blushes she comes out with I'm sure she's gonna come out with a peach uh, I bet yes she will 
And speaking of Nellie, her foundation, I really did like it, guys. I really, really, really like this foundation. It was pretty impressive. I ha I, I do have her, um, the other one that came in a compact that was like a cream foundation. And I know um, Chris, one of my friends, um, he, he really loves uh, Mally. You know, he's gotten into Mally makeup and he always loved that foundation. And he was asking me like what I thought of this because he really likes the cream compact one. And I do feel this one is even better than that one. And I always liked that one because it did look like your skin. But oh my goodness, this is her Flawless Finish Transforming Effect Foundation. Now it's only in the TSV as of now, but you know it's going to be coming out eventually. I haven't tried this spongy because somebody asked me that. I'm going to try this spongy kind of a thing and see what goes with the sponge or beauty blender because somebody said some of these kind of foundations are nice with you know using that as well uh i think Melly put that this in there for as touch-ups she put so i'm not sure but i will try it but it does have that that uh, netting in there and everything you just touch down in and there's your product right there and it is mine's in light so if you guys want to know what shade, I do have light shade. I was going between light and fair, but I did get light and it works really good for me. It does work really well and it just blends into the skin real nice. Does not look like you have any makeup on whatsoever. I love it. And then also speaking of Bally, I love her foundation brushes. These brushes here are really nice for buffing in the foundation or anything like that. Even a powder foundation, if you have one, these are really nice. The, these are probably her best brushes that she came out with. I have the other ones, but I do love these ones a lot more. So, and I think they're well-made and yeah, really, really like them a lot. I have shared this a good bit different times, but I cannot stress it enough. This is a awesome, highlighter it's actually considered a bronzer like a uh, mineral bronzer or something like that but it, it's like hard candy tiki tiki everybody you know it's supposed to be a bronzer but it looks more like a highlight that's what this is i feel i think this is in around that same price range as hard candy and it's from the company prestige it's called skin loving minerals this here and mine, it says sun-baked mineral bronzing powder. This one's in pure shimmer. That's what it's in, pure shimmer. I'm telling you guys, and this sucker is big, as you see. I mean, see how big that is? Like you put it, you know, that's pretty big, pretty big compact. And I use this as a highlight. There, you see right there, see that color? I mean, seriously, that is in, look at that. It is insane. I don't know why it's considered bronzer. So if you want to pick up a nice highlight, you know, you're on a budget. Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, I would literally buy another, just have his backup, just to be on the safe side if they ever discontinued it. But on their site, I see it there. I believe drugstore.com, I've seen it on there. I, mine I got from drugstore.com. That is where I got mine at. Just remember, pure shimmer. But yeah, I love that. And lastly, what's on my lips. I am loving and I've been using these a good bit lately. Again, I pulled them out. They're both from ColourPop. It's lip liner and what do they call these? The lippy sticks. And it's in the La Mer from the Kathleen Lights collection. It is a gorgeous color. It really, really is. I mean, it really can wear for anybody. And that is what I'm wearing. I have the, you know, the lip liner, which I need to sharpen that <laughs> But there's the colors right there. I mean, so pretty. Uh, for me, I mean, they still can, it can look a little more like kind of natural. And I don't know, it's not over the top, I guess, is what I want to say. So I've been using that a lot. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, do not forget to go ahead and check out Mary Ellen after 60. I will have her link down below. And you can go ahead and check her video out as well. Let's see what she's liking and not liking. I can't wait to see what her um, 
what her goodies are, like what she's like, meh, with, and, you know. So, anyway, guys, please go check her out. Share some love, subscribe if you like, and everything. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come join me each week. So, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, and I would so love to have you. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.